ketamine and refractory seizures. We're going to have a look at how and why this maybe works. To start, we know that seizures are an uncontrolled electrical disturbance in the brain. Here we have a brain cell and we've got two receptors, these Gs, which represent gamma or gamma aminobutyric acid, which are the inhibitory neurotransmitters, and Ns for NMDA or N-methyl D aspartate, which are the excitatory neurotransmitters. In other words, green for go and red for slow down. When someone has a seizure, the first line of treatment is to give benzodiazepines, whether that's midazolam or diazepam or lorazepam. The benzodiazepines help the GABA receptors work to inhibit conduction, which hopefully slows down the erratic activity of the seizure and the brain activity returns to normal and often even slows everything down to the point the person is a little sedated afterwards. NMDA, on the other hand, is an excitatory neurotransmitter that ketamine works to antagonize or block. So why does ketamine maybe have a role in refractory seizures, seizures that last a relatively long time and are unresponsive to treatment with benzodiazepines? Well, the theory is because of receptor trafficking. Receptor trafficking is the idea that these receptors aren't bound to the cell membrane, but rather they can move around. So at the start of a seizure, you might only have more GABA receptors at the cell membrane, where they can be triggered by benzodiazepines, and, then, and the NMDA receptors might be in the center of the cell. The theory suggests that over time, during the course of a seizure, these GABA receptors swap places with the NMDA receptors. The GABA receptors move away from the membrane towards the center of the cell, and the NMDA receptors move towards the membrane where they can be stimulated. That's why during a refractory seizure in a patient who isn't responding to benzodiazepines, ketamine might be able to help manage the seizures. We love that you love our videos, and we appreciate you so much that we've actually created the EMT Illustrated notes for you. You can download these for free in our link in our bio.